How's it going, RGV? Luis Ortiz with your Fox 2 Sports. Week 7 of the high school football season kicked off tonight with four games in action. One of them, a Game of the Week candidate in the battle of the unbeaten. And that's where we begin at Cat Stadium, where the Edinburgh Vela Severe Cats hosted the Sherland Pioneer Diamondbacks in 31 5 of action. We begin with the Severe Cats on the run. Robert Guerra with the 35 yard run, and Vela on top. Later, Severe Cats with the kickoff. Both of these teams are 6 0. The Diamondbacks only allowing 8 points per game. Here on the return, looking to go all the way. Brandon Casas, he hits the defense with the brakes and gets all the way to the one yard line. Look at him go, gets tripped just shy of the touchdown. And so Pioneer will make a count on the next play. Tyler Boutius, he teams up with Alec Garcia to tie the game. Sabercats will respond. Fabian Pedraza finds Michael Arguelles with the soft hands, just shy from the touchdown. And on the following play, Guerra with the second TD of the game. We'll take a look at the scoreboard. Bella up 35 to 14. We head over to PSJA Stadium where the Brownsville Porter Cowboys paid a visit to the PSJA Southwest Javelinas in 32 5A action in the first quarter. The Cowboys on offense, they hand it off to Jorge Gutierrez who breaks through the defense for the 50 yard jog. He goes all the way, reaching the 30 yard line, just shy of a scoring position. Jorge Gutierrez is the top running back in this district, comes into the game with over 1,000 yards and 13 touchdowns. He was hungry on, on this drive. The Cowboys would feed him his third straight carry for the first and down and one yard from scoring. And on the following play, Gutierrez with his fourth meal of the day, he gets into the end zone for his 14th TD of the season. Right now, the Brownsville Porter Cowboys up 35 to seven. We head over to Veterans Memorial Stadium where the La Jolla Juarez Lincoln Huskies face the McCallum Memorial Mustangs in 36A action. We pick up with the Mustangs on offense. Trevor Spates leading the attack. He thought he'll go left, but then goes right, picks up 28 yards to reach the red zone. On the next play, Spades with a few yards more, this time through the middle and the score. Spades would just uh, be getting started later in the first. He hurdles over the defender and then scored his second touchdown of the game. Trevor Spades, uh, the top recruited running back, comes into this one averaging 284 yards per game. And again, in the first period, scores one more time for his third TD of the game. Right now, McCann Memorial up big time, 56 to 10 in the fourth quarter. We finish off over at Sam Stadium in the battle of Southmost. Brownsville Rivera Raiders against Brownsville, Brownsville Lopez Lobos. Both of these teams winless. So looking for the first win, we pick up with the Raiders on the attack behind Angel Torrentino, who gets the short gain on the ground. Then Rivera with the shaky snap. They can't handle the hot potato, and it's recovered by Alexis Olalde, who takes it home and says, finders keepers, losers weepers, to give Lopez the lead. Uh, we will see more of the Lobos later in the game. Now trying the passing game, Juan Rodriguez. He will be intercepted by Rivera's number seven, Gerson Acero, for the 20 yard pick six. And the game is tied right now. Lopez Lobos looking for its first win of the season, up 27 to 15 in the fourth quarter. Week seven will continue tomorrow night with the game of the week, pioneering the action with the Donna Redskins and the Mercedes Tigers duking it out. Here's what the teams had to say leading up to the big day. It's a big game, you know. The Donna has a tremendous team out there. They're two and zero as well. I think we just got to execute. You know, we got to make sure that we're in our assignment. We can't be blowing assignments as far as our execution and our blocking schemes. There's a room for error. We have error. It could be a long night. We need to really step it up and practice really hard to stop it. We're working on mistakes that we've made, our, the past games that we had, and coming off Friday night, we want to come out with no mistakes and click on all phases and have a great game. That is just any other game. And, and any other game, another day in the office. There you have it, folks. You've heard it, the sound off between both teams now in the squared circle. Brandon Figueroa will be in his third professional fight on Saturday, looking to remain undefeated. The heartbreaker was scheduled to fight last month, but his opponent pulled out. The up-and-coming boxer used the extended training camp to incorporate CrossFit to his regimen, which he says has benefited him. Strength, stamina, and conditioning, you know, everything that's what we, got, we work in CrossFit. 
definitely my legs, you know, my legs feel a little bit stronger, you know, I'm able to run a little bit more. And when I get in, in the ring and spar, I feel, I feel a lot stronger. Brandon Figueroa will be part of the event taking place at the Bogus Spar Event Center on Saturday, headlined by Eric Gilmer Boy Molina and Raul El Tigre Cáceres. The fights will begin at 7 p.m. All right, folks, that's going to do it for us. We'll take a time out and be right back after the break.